Starship Orbital launch new date has been released after taking care of FAA fine. Attention all space enthusiasts! The wait is finally over. After months of delays and a run-in with the FAA, SpaceX has announced a new launch date for its highly anticipated Starship Orbital launch. Join us as we are covering the whole story in today's video. The previous conflict Musk hailed the successful test launch of the serial number 8 Starship prototype in December at SpaceX's facilities in Boca Chica, Texas as a success. Mars, here we come. The chief executive tweeted moments after the rocket exploded on its landing, celebrating SN8's successful 8-mile-high ascent with his followers. The FAA, which is responsible for ensuring ground safety and issuing licenses for private launches, was not too pleased with the situation. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, which is responsible for overseeing ground safety and issuing licenses for private launches, was not pleased. According to the two persons, the so-called mishap investigation was launched during that week, and its primary focus is not on the explosive landing but rather on SpaceX's reluctance to adhere to the parameters of what the FAA authorized. It was not obvious which aspect of the test flight was in violation of the FAA license, and a representative for the FAA declined to provide more details in a statement. A hope for SPACEX, SpaceX is very close to gaining an FAA license for the launch debut of the Starship. A senior official at SpaceX anticipates that the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, of the United States will award a license for the first orbital launch of the company's next-generation Starship rocket in the very near future. Gary Henry, Senior Director of National Security Space Solutions at SpaceX, was a speaker at the 2023 Space Mobility Conference. During his presentation, Henry mentioned that Starship is still on target to launch as early as March 2023. Elon Musk, the CDO of SpaceX, tweeted approximately six weeks ago that the company had a real shot at a late February launch of the Starship and that a March launch attempt looked to be quite likely. It is no longer possible to reach February. Henry believes that even so, the month of March could be a realistic goal. Much headway has been made by SpaceX toward the first orbital launch attempt for the Starship in the early years of 2023. On the 23rd of January, Ship 24 and Super Heavy Booster 7 were loaded with approximately 4,800 tons, about 10.6 million pounds, of propelling and performed Starship's first full wet dress rehearsal. This involved simulating a launch attempt up to the point where the engines were about to be ignited. Two and a half weeks later, SpaceX made an attempt to light all 33 of the Raptor 2 engines that were installed on Booster 7. This was the most powerful static fire test in the history of rocketry, producing 3580 tons, 7.9 million ULF, of thrust from the 31 engines that were successfully lit. SpaceX and its chief executive officer, Elon Musk, have kept a low profile over the test, stating only that it is possible that Starship could have still reached orbit even if it had launched off with only 31 of its 33 engines. From all indications, SpaceX's experiment was a smashing success and lived up to every expectation. On the very first attempt at the 33-engine test, 94% of Super Heavy's Raptors were successful in igniting. After that, the booster successfully emptied its tanks, which allowed it to reach a height equal to that of a complete two-stage Falcon 9 rocket with a payload fairing. Because Booster 7 did not sustain any obvious damage, and SpaceX has not yet removed or replaced any of its Raptor engines, it is possible to infer that all 33 of the engines are in good enough health to remain attached to the booster for Starship's first attempt at orbital launch. That is already a significant accomplishment on its own. Gary Henry, who works for SpaceX, stated on the 21st of February that both the Super Heavy Booster 7 and the launch pad that were responsible for the company's record-breaking static fire test are in excellent shape. In contrast to virtually all of the other large rockets that have ever been built in history, Starship's first orbital launch. Pad does not have a water deluge system, flame trench, or thrust diverter to control or redirect the enormous amount of power that the rocket's engines are capable of generating. In spite of this omission, the level concrete just below the pad appears to have withstood over 8 million pounds of force in addition to the extreme heat, with very little. Spalling and damage The concrete that was installed adjacent to the orbital launch mount fared less well than the rest of the concrete. However, it is possible that it will eventually be replaced with the same high-temperature fondant concrete that was added underneath the mount. After experiencing around half of Starship's full force, the launch mount and its surrounds will be evaluated to see whether or not they are in good form. If they are, it is feasible that SpaceX will be ready to launch in the very near future. In the meantime, SpaceX is currently in the process of building a water deluge system at its South Texas Starship launch site. 
This system will eventually make the facility significantly more capable of withstanding the strain caused by Starship tests and launches. Nevertheless, installing that system and producing a sufficiently big water supply will take months, which would likely limit a launch attempt in March, indicating that SpaceX's first attempt to launch an orbital Starship will occur without it. On the other hand, SpaceX has begun the process of attaching the shielding for the final layer on Starbase's orbital launch platform. It is anticipated that this task will need to be finished before the attempt to launch, and finishing it could take a couple of weeks. Ship 24's return to the launch pad and reinstallation atop Booster 7 will be the clearest indication yet that the first attempt at launching Starship into orbit is getting closer. This will be followed closely by the receipt of an FAA launch authorization by SpaceX. The majority of SpaceX testing has been completed, therefore the issue of obtaining a launch license may now be the most significant source of uncertainty around Starship's initial orbital class mission. The Starship might be ready to fly in a matter of weeks if. As Gary Henry and spaceflight journalist Christian Davenport have stated, there are no substantial obstacles standing in the way of that FAA license. The ODDS with its Starship prototype rocket, SpaceX has been pushing the limits of what is possible in terms of space exploration and the technology that enables it. The business has devoted a large amount of time and resources to the development of the Starship, with the intention of eventually transporting humans to Mars and establishing a permanent human population there. Yet just as with any other ambitious effort, there is a possibility that it will fail and the outcomes, whether successful or unsuccessful, could have huge repercussions. If SpaceX is unable to successfully launch its fully tested Starship into orbit, it would be a major defeat not only for the firm but also for the space exploration sector as a whole. In order to accomplish our long-term goals of space exploration and human colonization, the Starship program is an essential component of our strategy. It is possible that if the Starship does not succeed, this could result in a loss of public trust in SpaceX's capacity to deliver on its promises, which may potentially slow down or even halt development on this essential mission. In addition, a failure might result in safety concerns and the requirement to implement additional safety precautions, which would lead to increased costs and delays if these measures were not implemented. The unfavorable publicity that accompanies a poor launch may also have an effect on the company's financial standing and its ability to obtain future investment. In addition, it may put pressure on the regulatory organizations that supervise space exploration to implement more strict safety requirements, which may slow down the rate at which the industry is making progress. On the other hand, it would be a huge triumph for both the corporation and for the field of space exploration as a whole if SpaceX were to successfully launch their fully tested version of the Starship. If a Starship were to be successfully launched, it would prove that it is possible to design and launch reusable rockets that are capable of carrying massive payloads, including humans to Mars and beyond. This would pave the way for brand new opportunities in the fields of scientific study, space exploration, and perhaps space tourism. Furthermore, the successful launch of the Starship would provide a tremendous boost to the space exploration sector as a whole, stimulating additional investment and innovation in the field of space travel. It would also boost public trust in the capability of private firms to achieve ambitious space exploration goals, which might potentially lead to further collaboration between the public sector and the private sector. In the grand scheme of things, whether SpaceX's fully tested Starship launch is successful or not could have huge repercussions for the trajectory of future space exploration and the market as a whole. Even though it would be a major setback, a failure would not necessarily mean the end of the road for SpaceX or for space exploration in general. On the other hand, if the launch were successful, it would usher in a new era of opportunities for exploration and collaboration, which would propel both the field's overall innovation and its overall advancement for many years to come.